Okay, welcome to another Sunday Shop Update. Today I'm going to be talking about router jigs. I've done some stuff on router jigs before. Um, I was really interested in the Festool router jig and I may still get one at some point. Quite expensive. So I've actually been using this Trend one for quite a few years. The problem with the Trend router jig is how narrow it is. So there's not much purchase on, this is quite a big router, but even with the smaller ones, there's not a lot of uh, support for your router. And that's been the main issue. And I saw the um, Festool one, which is a much wider uh, jig, um, quite clever, as also you can use the clamps with it as well, your um, Festool clamps, which is cool. But as I said, it is quite expensive. Um, and then I spotted, while I was looking through Banggood, that they actually have a profile, which I've not seen before, which is 80 by 20. This thing is a meter by a meter. It is absolutely massive. Uh, really, really good. And if you see it with a big router, it sits, router would be down here, it sits well on it. So really big, easy to use, thick profile. As it's only a 20 profile, unlike the 40, which you can have your clamp in, you can't actually get your Festool clamps down this slot here, unfortunately. If it's on the edge of your workpiece, it will fit perfectly in here. Um, but obviously, because of the size of this, because you're working up here, you can put a clamp, it's so big if your work area. I've got some larger conference table builds and dining table builds coming up. You're going to see me using, I needed a 900 um, jig for some slots that I'm cutting. And that's what got me looking into different uh, options, really. And even Festool, as far as I know, only do a 700. So this is a 1,000. Um, you could obviously order smaller pieces if, you know, you don't need it to be this bulky. This wouldn't be very good for doing hinges and locks. But I'm actually going to get another... Um, I'll do another jig in a couple of weeks when I get some more profile in because they actually do a 6020 as well and you could also cut down this if you just wanted to use this as your smaller ones. So I'll show you how the connection works. So obviously a very important part of a router jig is to have the corners completely clear so that when you're using your either a bearing guided router or a ring like this it has to be able to go round and this is done on this profile by one of these little connectors and it's they're really inexpensive i think they get five of these um, on banggood for something like one pounds 80 including postage and the great news is that these profiles at a meter are only about 21 pounds each so there's another couple of connectors you can use on this profile there's this little one here and you can imagine if you want to do set up like a stop system i know festival have that you can slide these down lock them on um, to give you a stop or something like this if you want something more substantial or you could obviously connect more rail and do another one off here if you're doing staircases or some pattern work you could obviously make quite an elaborate one of these um, just keep connecting them to themselves which could get very expensive with um, the proper festival system but with here you could do anything make a whole series of patterns so pretty Versatile. But as I said, I haven't got the Festool one and I haven't used it. On the trend, what you do is you keep um, these locked and you loosen the silver ones and then this can slide in and out. And on the aluminium profile, as I said, you just use these little connectors. And what you would do is you would just loosen either side of that. So once you've got your eight screws loosened, you have the same system as all of the others, you can actually move this thing. It's so big, let's get this out of the way. You can then cut your slot, drag it out any size. I mean, it's absolutely massive. Now with these connections set up correctly, you find the point in which when you're biting in on this screw, this um, connection is gonna square this up for you. But if you're in any doubt, you leave the inside ones loose check it with your square, nip up the outside on the four corners and then you can tighten the inside. And I've found this to be very repeatable. Mine is staying dead square most of the time. Sometimes I just have to 
uh, after checking it, I just have to give it a little uh, adjustment. Um, I, I understand that with the Festool system, you're going to be pulling in here. So in theory, it's all going to keep square. But as I say, this is a lot less cost and a more flexible, generally, a more flexible tool because you can use the profile for other stuff. So I'm not saying for any reason that this is a replacement for the Festool. It's just an alternative system. So I've actually worked out that this meter square template will cost you around about £100 delivered and it's really versatile because obviously it doesn't just need to be a template you could do loads of stuff use it as a straight edges and that it's a really versatile bit of kit the one disadvantage against the Festool is that these clamps do not fit inside these slots but if you're going to use this loads there's nothing wrong with getting the cheaper clamp and profiling that down to fit, which is what I'll probably end up doing. So I'll end up with two clamps just for this 2020 profile. I'm probably gonna, instead of cutting down the meters, I'll probably order some 300 and 400 profiles because they're re even cheaper. So you could get this down to about 50 quid uh, if you're going for a reasonable size, sort of 300 by 400. So as always, I'll put the links in the description. It will take you to the Banggood site and that will the, one, the ones that I bought. I really think this is great. I've never come across the 2080 profile um, in the UK so far from where I've been buying profiles. So this opens up a whole new avenue and you know that I love working with a profile. It's really neat and clean. Anyway, I hope you found that useful. I think this is gonna be brilliant. You're gonna see it in some of my future builds. So thanks so much as always for watching um, and I'll see you on the next one.